Hello guys, so in this tutorial I'm just going to be giving you a little bit of insight on the different screens and GUIs that you'll have with the macro mod. So there are quite a few new GUIs that you have, so if you click on your macro activate key, you go in your game menu, you go in your options, controls, and slide all the way down to where the macro is, you will see your macro activate key. So when you press the macro activate key, you will have the macro playback screen on which you can then add buttons like so with the button text and then you can then edit to have different sizes. You can move around and then you can now delete. Yes, I will cover buttons in the other video but it, they work just as well as on your keyboard so it's more of a customizable on-screen keyboard so to speak so all the actions and things that you bind to them will be the same now what would you mean by binding so if you go back to the playback screen you have the key bindings and this is the screen I was talking about so you have your keyboard um, <clears throat> over here and if I you can bind things to any thing on the keyboard just by simply clicking it and putting in a bit of code here so you can just put it out, put out text like that and it will output the text in chat or if you um, encapsulate it with uh, double dollar signs and curly brackets like so it becomes a script and once you have a script you can do a simple loop so do for example one and or actually I'll do it three times and I will ask it to echo hello and I will ask it to log might as well just show you guys some very basic uh, chat commands log me obviously you have to finish the loop save that and now when you press the N it will say hello me hello me hello me hello me and it, it was extremely fast and as you can see it didn't all send at the same time it sent me me uh, before I received the hellos that's absolutely normal because I shall add a little wait time here so it will wait three ticks before starting again so now when I press it it will say me hello me hello me hello yes I will explain this I will go through scripts later in the series but right now my focus is mainly showing you the different GUIs so that's um, a script bound to a button but you can also bind it to events so for example I'm currently using the on show GUI event to show you what all the different GUIs are on the left hand side of the screen as you can see in the GUI event, on show GUI event, I'm using a global variable which is between percentage signs here called GUI, which actually shows the GUI in chat and you can use color codes, for example, and seven um, here, save, and it will change the color um, on the side of the screen for when you when you change GUI. So that's basically uh, the different um, screens used for key bindings. Now for text editors, this is where you'll edit your scripts. I will cover the scripts in a future video. Um, now let's get back to the key bindings and the settings. You want to um, go over here in the settings and activate the show slot IDs in containers because you'll be needing this at some point. And down here you have a debug information screen. Now. You use this debug information screen when you're coding your scripts to be able to visualize all the data that um, is available to you and that you can use. All these are global variables that you can use in your scripts uh, and the data that's associated to them. For example, if I was to change the sound, I would use percentage sign, sound, percentage sign, and then I could just modify the sound by um, so you see, associating random numbers to it. Right, next up, uh, to turn it off, you just have to go back into settings, go down, 
make sure you disable that click OK to save and next up you have a chat filter this is where you will filter out chat I will cover this in a future video <laughs> There is so much to cover on this mod, and this is why I'm making a series on it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed that. I will be covering the different buttons and how buttons work, loops, and things like that in the next videos. See you guys then.